repeat. Today, I want to explore subtraction. Let's start with learning some of the language. Then, we can look at ways to help us improve our subtraction skills. Subtraction is taking away from a number to get a smaller amount. After subtracting, you will have less than when you started. The symbol for subtraction is a line going side to side just like this. Some of the language you might use when subtracting is difference, minus, less, take away, decrease, and fewer. The lesson objective for today is to introduce learners to subtraction. The long-term objective is to be able to subtract numbers 0 to 19 with success and confidence. Let's start practicing. Are you ready, Freddy? Three, take away two equals one. Wow, that was easy. Let's try a harder one. Five minus three is the answer. One, two, or three. Five minus Three is two. Great job. Let's try this again. Nine take away five is the answer. Four, five, or six. Nine take away five is four. Another way we might see subtraction questions is written like this. The numbers are above and below each other. When you write the questions this way, please make sure the larger number is above. So let's give it a try. 12 minus 4 is the answer 6, 7, or 8. Take away four is eight. On this next question, I'm going to make a mistake. See if you can catch my mistake. Three, take away one. Let me get my block set up. And now, let's solve the question. But wait, I made a mistake, that's not right. What did I do wrong? Pause the video if you need to. Are you ready for the answer? I added when I should have subtracted. Make sure to always check the sign. Now, let's do it the correct way. 3 minus 1 equals 2. Let's do one last question. 16 minus 7. This time, let's make sure we subtract. Is the answer 8, 9, or 10? 16 minus 7 is 9. Remember to practice every day. Here is a checklist you can use to help you. Start with single digit numbers. Try different learning tools to see which ones work for you. I'd recommend trying a number line to count on. Two tens frames to set up questions with objects. or a place value mat to use with place value blocks. Remember, the long-term goal is to subtract numbers from 0 to 19 with success and confidence. Achieving this will take learners different amounts of time. And always remember, don't add when the sign tells you to subtract.